Hey there, thanks for tuning in. I'm excited you're here. Welcome to my channel. This is either going to be on YouTube or IGTV. I don't know which way you are watching. However, I always suggest you go and subscribe to my YouTube. So you can click the link above. I more than likely will have it linked above if this is on IGTV. But if you're already on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't know who I am, I am your cosmic weather girl. I'm bringing you an energy update today. Well, it's actually for the week. So it's for the week of March 25th through Sunday the 31st. Not early, week. we're ending a month. We're having a lot of planets move. So it's a busy week energetically. There's I would say, you know, it's almost like when you shake up a snow globe here on earth. So your energy is going to be shook up, but we have some good signs out there, some grounded signs and just some momentum, courage, power, passion, you know, to do more and be more. So I'm excited. If I sound a little zapped, it's because it's been a crazy week for me previously and as we end retrogrades you know and then get ready for new ones i just felt this mercury one like a kick in the ass let me tell you between website issues paypal issues uploading issues hopefully they are all resolved going forward so if i sound winded if i sound <laughs> drained and out of breath i apologize I'm actually really excited to be here and do this. The weather is kind of getting to me because it's every couple of days, it's beautiful for a few days and then shitty. So that's kind of bothering me, but I do live in Portland, Oregon, so it is what it is. Let's get to it because really IGTV gives us so little time. 10 minutes is hardly enough. Look at me. I mean, I just did a two minute intro. Okay. So here we are though. Aries is the sign that we find ourselves in right now with the sun. So for the next 20, 20 more days, you know, I don't even know. I don't keep count that meticulously. But for the next couple of weeks, we are in Aries. So when we're in the sun sign, that's our reality. That's what we're dealing with day to day. The moon moves every two and a half days. So that's our emotional state, our, our inward unraveling of sorts, the shadow character work and the at home versus at work and at play. Okay. So today we find ourselves in, what the hell is that? That is not an energy update for this week. <laughs> Let me get this one because I always just keep some notes anyways. So today we find ourselves in Sagittarius. Early this morning, the moon moved the moon moved into Sagittarius. So your confidence might have shifted a bit, giving you a boost, I would say. So you would start to daydream about how things could and can be with more energy too, because this planet is going to complement, excuse me, this sign is going to complement the Aries. So they're both fire signs. So they're going to add a little bit of fuel to that fire. So it's going to be like lights, camera action for you on your hopes and dreams, on your thoughts and reality. Okay. Now here's the thing. You're either living in the day dream or a nightmare. So you're working by day, getting the work done, or you are, and you're finding it hard at night to deal with your reality. Okay. Especially with all this Pisces and Neptune stuff going on. The dreams are really crazy and intense lately good bad and ugly but i was i was listening to dolores cannon the other day and basically she said you know if you're having to deal with hard challenging things in your dreams that would be better than in reality for some people so take that as a as a as a sign like you're you're better off doing the work then anyways okay on tuesday uh venus enters pisces uh daydream believers will believe in love or others might need to use their intuition more to feel out their partners and move away from people that aren't going to co-create the dream with them. And you've got to stop saying like, this is my soulmate. I'm supposed to sacrifice my hopes and dreams for someone else. No, 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 no. That is not how anything is supposed to be. Our dreams are supposed to collide. And if your dreams collide with someone else and you build this magical castle in the sky in the reality right here, right now, that's beautiful. But don't subject yourself and sacrifice yourself for other people like that. No, 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 no. On Wednesday, the moon will enter managerial Capricorn. Capricorn, did you? <laughs> Anyways, it'll be perfect for, you know, getting those midweek tasks done, those things that you need to get done, done. Okay. Mind yourself though, do the work, stop micromanaging, supervising, watching, dictating, 
how others should do their work mentally, physically, and emotionally. Spirit doesn't need any hall monitors, hall monitors or helpers, okay? So I'm real nasally today. I'm as if I'm not always nasally. But anyways, <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with it. On Thursday, Mercury goes direct, okay? Like I keep saying though, it's there's a wobble effect, okay? So steady on your feet. Don't go rushing off into anything contractually, uh, signing agreements, you know, money transactions. You know, even me, I'm taking my time deciding who I work with going forward because PayPal and I have had a disagreement and it's been a, it's gonna, I'm like in PayPal jail basically. So that's neither here nor there. But I'm just telling you my first person examples, you know, so that you know what I'm talking about. So commerce, banking, checking, wait a week or two, you know, don't go rushing off like a bull in a china shop, which Aries is good at, and then regret, okay? So get everything thought out, calculated, planned out, and mapped out. By Friday night, okay, the moon is going to move into Aquarius, which will add fuel to the Aries fire for sure. You could be ready to break free and do things a new way, but you need to take it easy. Slow and steady wins the race. Remember, logic tradition and intuition. Things are going to happen logically for you and you can do things traditionally. Aquarius has a real hard time doing things traditionally. Very ahead and progressive out there leading uh, very much a, a, a very different leader than Aries. Aries is a very in your face um, motivator like let's get the job done. Aquarius is like we'll work on our separate tasks and do these things individually. But anyways <laughs> that's just the contrast there. But Aries and Aquarius the the fire in the air there perfect for you know smoke and mirrors okay. On Sunday Mars moves into Gemini full of contrast and duality. You could be going into multiple dimensions, two different directions, mentally, physically, and emotionally, you have to find a way to ground yourself down, okay? Try to center yourself. All this air with all the Aquarius um, moon and Aries fire, ooh, that's going to create, as I said, those smoke and mirrors, clouding your judgment about people, places, and things, even your own personal reality. So as I've always said and said before and say, I'll say it forever, stop, drop, and roll when you're on fire mentally, physically, and emotionally, especially during Aries season. But remember, if you're in a fire, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. You've got to ground down when all that smoke is in your way and find your way to the nearest exit. Don't go and get crazy and ballistic and scramble around. No, ground down. Stop, drop, and roll and crawl your way out of there if you have to. Humble yourself away from these people, places, and things that could create chaos and trauma for you soon, okay? Especially this summer because we have, god damn it, five planets going retrograde. Next week, though, do not be fooled as the moon moves back into Pisces and we get another glimpse of the dream or the nightmare that I've been talking about, you know. Uh, Pisces season is over, but every, you know, I guess month, we step into every sign. So every two and a half days during the month, we'll step into each sign. Um, and, and Pisces season can be hard on people. So as I'm glad it's over. But with Neptune retrograde in Pisces and Pisces moons and things like that, it could create a challenging end to our week, okay? So we have a new moon in Aries on Friday next week, which will only add even more fire to this sun that we're working with in our reality right now. Um, you know, I just cool your jets, mind what you say, don't be throwing all these all these bombs and burning all these bridges with some people, places, and things. And be mindful what you say. My God, especially on the internet for the whole world to see. A lot of like crappy dialogue I'm seeing online. I don't like I don't like seeing it. And 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 people that are supposedly good people, talking shit about other people. If you don't have anything nice to say, do not say anything at all. I'm tired of seeing it, okay? So this is under 10 minutes, perfect. It's gonna get loaded to IGTV and YouTube. But if you're on YouTube here, we always go a little further, a little deeper. And we're gonna talk about the planets that are moving. Just, we, we just go in, in depth, okay? So as you all know, we're in the Aries sun sign. And strengths would be courage, confidence, determination, enthusiasm, and optimism. But there's also this passion to be honest with people, places, and things. But as I said, mind what you fucking say because your honesty could be way too blunt. And with the Sagittarius moon who says whatever the fuck it wants, 
it's you just this week early on like i even saw it in my family people getting it heated but but the truth will be said and oh lord have mercy on us all weaknesses though well, obviously, there's a lack of patience, mood swings, tempers, children with this Aries sun and Sagittarius uh, moon conjunction here going on. Honeys, fire, cool them down, relax, you know, understand that they're feeling this too. It's not just you and your partner and your family and your friends. The kids are feeling it all too, okay? So there's also this impulsive behavior. So you want to create structure and stability and support for yourself. And with all the Capricorn in the sky, that should be easy to do. You know what you got to do and you got to stay on task. Create those to-do lists, okay? Now, what else can I say about Aries season, basically? Delayments, unforeseen blocks and obstacles. You have to find the patience within you to deal with these things because Aries does not like dealing with them. You've got to control your energy and how you react to these situations. Perseverance and focus. You are great at being determined, getting what you want mentally, physically, and emotionally in for the challenge, in for the chase. But you've got to decide, is it worth all that energy? Okay. So also big one, anger management. I have an Aries moon. I could be in a rage sometimes, but I have a cancer sun and rising. So then I'm also really nurturing. So it's less, it's really hard, but let me tell you the anger management has got to be taken into consideration with the kids. Even like I said, work on your confidence to diffuse and control yourself in situations. It's not about controlling other people, places and things, even the children. It's about controlling how you show up, how you react, how you engage, especially with the kids, because they are going to mimic you. They are going to emulate you down the road. Okay. So work on your inner confidence to engage without conflict, without battle and create resolution. Okay. Because there are solutions out there for the highest good for all of us in these challenging situations right now. But we've got to decide how we show up energetically, okay? Which comes to trusting, believing, and receiving. Finding that faith to take those risks again. We could have been let down. We could have been burned out. We could have been burned by other people, places, and things. So you've got to learn to go through the trust the process again with people, places, and things. Learn to trust them again. Now, and take risks again. You could, you could become too in your ego and too calculated and controlled, and that's a lack of control, personal control. You're overly cautious. There's a thing about being cautious and a thing about just being trepidatious and way too shy and way too afraid, okay? Because Aries is a bold leader, not fucking a, a fraidy cat, okay? So you're going to miss chances and opportunities for growth mentally, physically, and emotionally if you keep getting in your own way, letting fear of the fire keep you. You can walk through the fire and you will come out that much stronger. I promise you, okay? So if you never ask, you will never receive. That's also another one for you guys right now, mentally, physically, and emotionally. You have to ask the universe for what you want. Like I was just talking to a friend last night. She said out loud what she wanted, like some alone time from her kids, some space to just relax. And don't you know, within five minutes, her partner came over and said, I'm going to take the kids away. And we can, and she was like, I just instantaneously got what I needed. But you know, just, that's just it. Say it to the universe, write it down, speak it out, drum it out, shake it out, whatever you got to do, but let your ancestors, angels, and guides know what you're up to and what you want to do. And lastly, with the Aries sun, pick and choose your battles more wisely. You do not need to be fighting anything and everyone you are going to be beat up, worn out, and you just need to cool the fuck down, okay? So ginger, rosemary, cedar. Again, not your hamster cedar. I like a Himalayan cedar. Cinnamon and clove. I've been putting cinnamon with citrus every morning and ginger. Oh, so good. So yummy. And I think I'm even like getting, it's, it's like helping me with my skin, hair, and nails, and weight. But it's just, I, I tell you guys these things for I don't know if it'll work for you. Okay. Anyways, Sagittarius is where the moon is right now. Giving and generous, dreamy and humorous. Their dreams could steal the show and almost they can become like Leo. Like, look at me. All those fire signs. You know those fire signs. But uh, the humor could also get into 
who's the butt of the joke? What are you saying? There's truth to the humor always. So be mindful what you're saying and whose feelings you may or may not be hurting, okay? And, and remember, the moon moves every two and a half days. So this is just going to add fuel to the Aries fire, though. So be mindful what you say. Pisces is where we find Mercury, though. And Mercury will be going direct. I, uh, where did I see that? I know I routed down on Thursday. Yeah, I already talked about that. But anyways, you just need to be gentle and kinder with your words and know that everybody is coming from this wounded place. And it's easy to trigger people, and ex especially during Pisces season. And now during Aries season, it's going to be war. So don't be triggering other people. Be mindful what you say. Then we have Aquarius. Aquarius can be found in Venus. And Venus is, again, also going to be moving into Pisces. So I'll talk more about that later. Not today. That's just too much. I've got other things I need to do, other um one-on-one -on -one sessions, but I'm just kind of going through the planets here. So you, um, in your relationships with people, places, and things are going to be ahead and progressive, innovative, and independent, and want to have this reciprocation, you know, reciprocity with your family, friends, and lovers, the give and the take, okay? But you could be detached, and, and other people could be detached, so don't take it personally if other people are detached. They could be detached from speaking up and out about how they feel mentally, physically, and emotionally, and you can't pry them open. You, that's not your job to do, okay? You need to be focused on the future, and 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 love people in your own way, but they're going to love you also in their own way. Love language comes up here. Um, you, you can't control them, okay? But there's no rules to your love. You have to allow others, though, to love in their own way. You can't force them to open up, especially, you know, if they are an Aquarius. It, they're not naturally going to be that open, okay? So Taurus is where we find Mars. Mars, what's Mars doing? Nothing right now. It'll be moving into Gemini soon. I know that. Yeah, Mars moves into Gemini March 30th. So that's on Saturday. Sure. Okay, there we go. And Venus enters Pisces tomorrow on March 26th, as I've already said. Okay, cool. You're going to want ease and comfort. And, and that's in your relationships when it comes to sex. And, and the relationship is getting more defined and traditional and comfortable and that's good that's healthy that's when the intimacy happens that's when people start to open up so we have this contrast there with the um with the Aquarius and Venus and the Taurus and Mars for sure Sagittarius is where we find Jupiter. You're going to have strong intuition and visions right now. Be very spirit-led and opinionated. And here is where the comments are coming up. Like, I was reading these comments on this, on this supposedly, you know, really love and light yogic lifestyle page. And they were just horrific, the things these people were saying. Your opinions are not that important when they hurt other people's feelings and if they're not asked for. If someone hasn't asked for your opinion, maybe you should shut the fuck up um, because right now your words are going to get you into trouble because it's really, it's aggressive and they're like fighting words and you guys need to settle down, okay? You're creating trouble, you're making waves and you think it's going to get you this attention you want. No, spirit works with energy. So if you're creating negative energy, it's only coming back to you times 10, okay? So... We have this freedom of speech, but we need to be mindful of what we say. Like I said, moving forward. <laughs> okay, Capricorn is where we find Pluto. Pluto is, you know, God of the underworld, the darkness, the shadow character work that we're cleansing and clearing generationally from our ancestors, angels, and guides passed down to us karmically in our bloodlines, okay? So you have a duty to yourself to stay motivated and to control yourself, not others. Manage yourself, not others. Do for yourself, not others. And by that, say no more, okay? Get hungry for more. You're full of ambition. Stay focused on your personal plan of attack, the organization of your life. Stop looking at how other people have curated their life unless you are doing it to be inspired. If you're getting jealous, if you're getting, you know, uh, envious of what other people have, either do it and make it happen for yourself or stop going there. Stop looking at that, especially with Instagram and how it's curated on all of these people's pages. There are all these really high accounts that just aren't personable. 
stop thinking that these people are really human humanitarians and 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 people you should emulate and and people that you should strive to be like i want someone that can be real raw vulnerable honest and authentic okay so it, it's 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 almost like they create this false illusion of a reality that's super unachievable and and that's what you've got to remove yourself from and start achieving your own hopes and dreams instead of watching other people simulate the idea of achieving their hopes and dreams by creating a perfectly curated account and content okay that's not what we're here for we're here for growth mentally physically and emotionally to get real raw and vulnerable okay tap into your feelings more get more personable with your work when you get more personable with your work you're going to find more people to work with if you keep putting yourself on a pedestal and keep separating yourself from the crowd uh, and thinking you've done the work in that you are just now here to help teach and show and lead you are missing the point in whatever your vocation is whatever your talent or gift is what and that's why you should almost give it away for free because then that creates competition more people know how to do what you do the more you're going to want to excel at what you do and collaborate and and congratulate and achieve more and do more and be more but it starts with doing for yourself first and saying no to other people places and things okay so manage your power more wisely control yourself control your ego and utilize your power and your potential your personal power strengths and potential Pisces is where we have Neptune again. It's going to be retrograde, I want to say, this summer. And that is going to be June 10th, okay? Along with Uranus, and that will be in Taurus, August 10th. So late into the summer, we have some planets going retrograde, and that will cap that five-planet retrograde. And, well, six if you really consider, I believe, the North Node will still be retrograde. So anyways, that's a lot to think about, a lot to deal with. I'm going to be doing the retrograde report and load that to IGTV for each of the planets and also the whole thing you can watch. Um, or it depends on how long each planet goes. I don't know. They'll be on IGTV though, but always subscribe to YouTube. It's just so much easier for you guys to get the updates. Anyways, we're dealing with compassion here, compassion for ourselves, compassion for the wounds that we need to heal and the triggers that we feel. We have got to do that work mentally, physically, and emotionally. You could be feeling very sensitive, very vulnerable, very weak, very paranoid. You've got to stop seeing the bad and start seeing the good in yourself and people, places, and things. Stop thinking you're the victim because you're really the only, you're the victim of your thoughts. You're the victim of what you think. And then you become it becomes a belief, then it becomes an action, and then it becomes your reality. So stop thinking that you are the victim here and realize that you are capable of doing so much more for yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally. Use your feelings to create art. Like when I was going through all that shit last week, I channeled it into creation. You can channel it into tears, which are cathartic healing. I'm not telling you to dismiss your pain and your hurt and your anguish. No, 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 no. But you only have to do that for a little while, a minute or two, really. Other than that, it's a choice. So after that, it's a choice with how you channel this energy, this cleansed and clear transmuted energy, okay? So accept it as necessary to create um, who you are and what you are, you know, all that, you've been, all that you have been through, okay? So you are obligated to no one. You just need to take control of your energy mentally, physically, and emotionally. Again, we're, we're, we're creating these beliefs, these thoughts and ideas, and we've got to stop doing that because it's creating victimization. We're wasting our psychic gifts. We're wasting our dreams. We're wasting the phenomenon that is us and the manifestation of us and the ability to create everything that is around us, okay? So your visions are here to co-create with other people. You are here to miraculously co-create with other people. Believe in the miracles around you. Believe in the wisdom around you and be selfless in that way. Like I was saying, give it away. Give your gifts and abilities and talents away stop thinking you've got to charge this exuberant fee because you are missing on the experience if you think that's what you have to charge to experience life outside of the experience itself okay i have done this for so cheap so affordably for so long it will never matter how much i charge because i work for spirit i work for source energy i will always be provided for People are saying to me, wouldn't you be going, shouldn't you be going crazy? $3,000? You, you can't pay your rent. You can't pay your bills. No, but 
Everything's been divinely aligned and provided for thus far. I have faith. I have trust. I know it will all work out and it will. You have to trust, believe, and then receive. You cannot receive until you believe. You cannot believe until you trust, okay? So trust, believe, and receive. Stop trying to escape your reality and create a reality you want to be a part of. Create a world you want to swim in, okay? Like the little mermaid. She thought she had to leave her reality to go and get what she desired. Stop doing that because you're going to miss what you had and you can make what you have better for sure. Okay. Find your voice. Um, Taurus is coming up here in Uranus. So work on being yourself, true to yourself. Stop being jealous or envious of what other people have got. You can have that. You've got to believe and achieve it yourself. Stay focused on yourself, the work you're doing. Work on any issues though you have with guilt. I could see that you you don't think you're worthy of this, that, or the other mentally, physically, and emotionally, and you most certainly are. You've got to allow the flow, the allow the acceptance of. So trust, believe, and then receive. And then so many of you are like, but I'm unworthy of it, so I don't know if I can take it. And it's like it's like candy trick-or-treating out front of someone's house. No, don't take the whole fucking pot. Take what is yours, okay? Take what is yours from source energy. Allow source to give to you. Allow your family, friends, and lovers to give to you mentally, physically, and emotionally, okay? And know that what you have to say matters. Taurus says very little, but what they say really is impactful, okay? Um, and then stop giving and hoping that others give to you. That, uh, another great example will be, again, like the Halloween basket out front of someone's house. You take a little bit of candy. They're not expecting you to put candy back on the porch for them. That's not how it works. You take that and enjoy it. The, with our friends, if they want to take you to lunch, let them take you to lunch. You don't have to say to them, I owe you. Stop with that. Let people give to you because it's all going to go around. It will all go around, okay? And then last, oh, we're getting into the North and South node. Perfect. Okay. So the North node, Cancer, is retrograde. And like I said, we've been dealing a lot with these inner child wounds with our mother and father, the the wounds that we carry passed down to us mentally, physically, and emotionally, the womb wound, I call it. But you need to stay strong and imagine this. You created all of this for yourself. So stop going back to the wound. Know that you are responsible for this right here, right now. Okay. So stay loyal and committed to yourself, to your family, to your friends, to your lovers, and get on with your life already. Okay. Um, stop allowing yourself to swing though back and forth from this. Oh, this woe is me. This is my pain. Oh, I deserve this, that, and the other. Well, if you deserve this, that, and the other, stop going and sitting back in your pain because then you're going to think you deserve to be the victim again and again and again, and you've got to stop doing that, okay? If you want to connect with this Cancer energy, Yang Yang, Jasmine, Rose, Violet, Citrus, and Sacral Chakra work for sure. The Chakra website will be up pretty soon. All of that is just taking a lot of more energy out of me than I than I really have right now with everything going on. So you need to use your instincts though to take control of your life mentally, physically, and emotionally going forward. Nurture and mother and love yourself. Mother knows best. Well, the human self knows best. I know what's best for me. You know what's best for you and so on and so forth. Okay. You have psychic gifts. I have psychic gifts. You are sensitive. Your emotions are your compass. My emotions are my compass. How I feel about this, that, or the other is how I utilize my intuition. How you feel about this, that, or the other is how you utilize your intuition. Okay. So express yourself and then others will be allowed to express themselves more openly. We could be facing some digestive issues, family issues, of course, um, family, friends, and lovers, but the family tree for sure. Overly sensitive, deeply feeling, feeling like the victim, the black sheep, the scapegoat, whatever the case may be. You need to separate yourself four corners. Everybody go and mind themselves, go do their own thing and stop getting up in everybody else's business. Okay. Now we find the South Node in Capricorn. If you want to connect with that sign there, the South Node is your ancestors, angels, and guides vibrationally. They're asking you to manage the bloodline, manage yourself. 
You are their astronaut. You are their chosen one right here, right now. You and your cousins and your brothers and your sisters, your mother and your father and your aunts and your uncles, all of you that are here right now are leading and paving the way for the ancestry, for your family, for who you are and where you come from, okay? So patchouli, cypress, vanilla, and citrus, and obviously root chakra work. Remember who you are, you know, not what you were. Stop going back to the old story. Deal with your emotions. Deal with those womb wombs. Dive, dive deeper into who you are and what you are. Stop, stop thinking about this, that, and the other and start feeling more deeply into it. Stop being so rational. Yes, things are logical, but they are traditional and you've got to trust your intuition. They're intuitional. Like I said, I made that up. I don't think intuitional is a word because I totally just made that up. Webster, call me. Just kidding. Also, handle your business. Get ambitious. You have a duty to yourself. Curb those impulses. You are capable so long as you are in control of yourself, in control of who you are, not what you were. You cannot control the past. You're not, you cannot change the past. Every time you go back and sit in it, it's like you're stepping in shit and you're carrying it forward. Stop doing that, okay? Logic, tradition, and intuition, structure is going to be key going forward because we need stability like a motherfucker, you guys. Structure, create a support team, create stability, create a schedule because we got some retrogrades coming up. Spring to the end of the summer, going into like next year. So handle your shit now while you can before the flip. That's the thing is the script is, is going to be flipped pretty soon. Spirit is almost going to hand you a new role, new characters, new casting, directing, and crew. Lights, camera, action, like I said in the beginning. Are you going to be the star of your own show or worrying about someone else's show? Are you going to be in control of your own life or trying to control other people? Get in your own lane. Do your own thing. Get to work. Okay? I got to get to work. I love you guys.